Maxim is paving the way for greener network deployments. With cellular data traffic increasing exponentially, the cellular ecosystem is migrating from voice-centric macro networks to heterogeneous networks with improved coverage and capacity. Microwave backhaul links, remote radio heads, and small cells play a key role in improving cellular data transfer. Deployment locations include stadiums, hotel lobbies, airports, train stations, office buildings, and city streets. In order to meet the requirements of the HetNet, designers could either operate their PAs in back-off at the cost of low efficiency and heat, or use DPD solutions, which are expensive and bulky. Introducing Maxim's breakthrough RFPA linearization technology, SC1894 is widely deployed in millions of base stations. SC2200 is a newly released device providing dual-channel linearization. Key benefits include high power amplifier efficiency operation of up to 50%, Class A, AB, and Doherty amplifier support with a wide range of technologies such as LDMOS, GAN, and GAS, simple design enabling fast time to market and development of platform solutions, and low power consumption at 1.2 watts for SC1894 and 1.9 watts for SC2200. Maxim's linearizers facilitate effective designs for macro and small cell base stations, remote radio heads, microwave backhaul, AAS, DOS, and other MIMO systems. With key advantages over backed off class AB PAs and baseband DPD, including reduced size up to eight times smaller, reduced material cost up to 50%, faster time to market, and reduced burden involving the complexity around designing a system with DPD, and lower power consumption up to 70% in comparison with backoff. It's no surprise that more and more customers are implementing Maxim's linearizers in their designs. This chart displays the power savings you can achieve with SC2200 for a 5-watt system. Implementing Maxim's RFPAL technology ultimately results in a 33% reduction in system power consumption versus DPD and 69% versus backoff. Maxim's linearizers provide a substantial reduction in bomb cost by eliminating numerous high-performance components and enabling the use of low-cost integrated transceivers. As illustrated in this DPD block diagram, the system includes several high-cost components which are eliminated by injecting Maxim's RFPEL technology at the input of the PA. This results in up to a 50% reduction in bomb cost, making it the lowest cost option for CISO and MIMO systems. Now let's move into the lab to the Spectrum Analyzer, which shows the ACLR improvement you can achieve with Maxim's pre-distortion technology. When linearization is turned on, we see a greater than 20 dB improvement, which not only meets out-of-band emission requirements, but also provides plenty of margin to compensate for process variation. To learn more about Maxim's RFPAL solutions, visit MaximIntegrated.com. <laughs>